and please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. Calls are recorded for quality assurance. O prima nueve para española. We're very excited to tell you about a special promotion for select callers. This will only take a moment. By answering just a few questions, we will find out if this offer is right for you. Are you or is someone in your household 50 years of age or older? Press 1 for yes. If you or someone in your household... Thank you for calling the Medical Alert Center. This is Jessica on a recorded line. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Great. So uh, with our promotion today, you actually have the opportunity to receive a free medical alert device. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, you know, it's that little button you wear around yeah, your neck that you press okay. in case of an emergency yeah. or um, even a fall. Right. Now, when you're participating in our monitoring program, um, you actually can get your medical alert absolutely free. So uh, oftentimes it's really expensive to buy a device like this. So um, okay. we make it really simple for you. We okay. pay for the entire unit itself and then ship it right to your house for free. And then, um, of course, we guarantee you 100 100% peace of mind, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So uh, let's go ahead and get you some more info on it, okay? Okay. Great. So it actually looks like you qualify for our offer today. Um, just please hang on for one second while I connect us with a medical alert specialist. Thank you so much for holding. My name is Ann Sunil with Life Protect 24 7. First, I want to say congratulations. You were selected today for a free medical alert system. And so that I may address you properly, may I have your first and last name, please? Yes, my first name is Clint, C-L-I-N-T. Oh, right, Mr. Clint. And your last name? Torres, T-O-R-R-E-S. Oh, right, perfect. Okay. And do you want me to call you Mr. Clint or Mr. Torres? Mr. Torres, please. Oh, right, perfect. Now, Mr. Torres, our devices are great for those who have heart issues, are worried about security concerns, or even the common slip and fall. By chance, are there any health issues that you're concerned with? Things like high blood pressure, oh, yes, diabetes. I got, that. I got that too, yes. COPD. Tell yes, me a little bit I of what you're that. going through, Mr. Torres. I got a lot of everything. It broke my finger. Okay. It fell down and broke my finger, and it went. How do you do that? My, my, my finger went west, and I was facing south. I didn't like that. They had to snap it back oh. into place. Oh, it hurt. Okay. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Good. How long ago was that, Mr. Torres? Oh, right before Christmas. Oh my goodness, oh. that sounds horrible. Oh, I gotta go tomorrow. I gotta go Wednesday because they gotta fix the other finger that was broke. I broke two of them, and the other one didn't heal right. So now they gotta break it and put it back together again. Oh my goodness! Oh, no, I don't want to go there. That sounds absolutely horrible. No, I don't want to go there. Are you living by yourself? Yes. Oh my goodness! I had to drive Mr. myself. I had to drive myself to the hospital with my finger pointing the wrong way. Oh my goodness! Well, thank God you made it. Oh yeah. And um, you know, you were actually able to even drive yourself well, there. Well, yeah, so that I had was a my other hand worked, so I was all set there. But they were surprised when oh, I walked in goodness. when my finger was pointing the wrong way. I was just about to go oh to church. Goodness, it was Mr. it was Torres. on a Sunday morning. I was on my way going to go to church. And I did it. And then I couldn't go to church, so I couldn't go. And how did you uh, end up falling down? Did you just trip over something I, or what I, happened? I, well, I, I put this little box on the floor, and I forgot I put it there. I tripped mm -hmm. over it. I forgot. Oh, my goodness. I forget a lot of things. Well, thank God, Mr. Um, Torres, it was just only your finger. Yeah, um, you, you didn't you fall down and break your hip uh, my head. or your arm or anything like that. Could have broke my head. No, you could have broke your neck or your yeah, back or your hip or mean. anything. That's what I mean. Yeah, so, so thank tell God me, for tell, that. Yeah. Now, make sure tell me about you this be medical very careful, thing. Mr. Torres. Now, if so I fall down again, if I fall use. down again and break my finger, will I be? How do I push the button if I broke my fingers? Um, hopefully your other hand it will be able to work, and you yeah, can it press doesn't it with know, your other hand. It doesn't know if I fell down. It can't tell if you fall. 
There's no, it does one, have a father there's one, in it. There's one that I saw in AARP that if you fall down, it knows it somehow. I don't know how it knows it. But yeah. It knows well, it. We have a fall detection in ours, too. Um, oh, Mr. so Thor. it does know so if I fall So we'll down. be able to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It will be able to know if you actually had a fall. Okay. Now, um, Mr. Tor. Um, you know, it indicates like if you were to fall down and bump your head mm -hmm. or, you know, something like that. Right. What if um, I got knocked out? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to know that okay. and we're going to be able to send help for you. Good. And, um, right. Mr. Torres, you said you do live by yourself, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I know that can be very scary living alone, knowing yeah. that if anything does. Nobody's here to pick me up. Work. Yeah, nobody will even know what's going on no. with you. So, so my, that could be very, very my, bad. My neighbor, Mr. my neighbor, uh, Aqualung stops over once in a while. He might find me or my neighbor on the other side, Cross-Eyed Mary. She stops in for coffee now and then, but if she doesn't and he doesn't come, then I'm on my own. Yes, and then you have to think about Mr. Torres. What if they come and it's too late? Too late. Ooh, that'd be gone. That mm -hmm. wouldn't be good. Yeah, that wouldn't be good because you could have possibly been laying there for days and mm. nobody even knew it. Boy. So, um, you know, that's why um, yes. Mr. Torres, a lot of people um, okay. actually have these devices before yeah. they actually need them. That's a And Mr. A good Torres, idea. I do want to let you know um, before, okay. um, you know, we get too far oh, okay. um, along in this. Now, right. um, we are going to send you all of this equipment completely free, Mr. Torres. Good. We're also going to waive your taxes, your shipping, and your activation fees for you. Good. The only thing that you'll take care of is a small monitoring fee of just $1.66 per day. A and day? And we're going to mail the or device to you. A day mm -hmm. or a month? So, it is a monthly charge. Oh, so, what's it um, up to? Uh, that's quite a bit. <sighs> Um, it only rounds off to about forty something dollars. It's not that something. bad. Forty oh. mm -hmm. something. But that's does actually Medicare really good pay for, for that, what I you're going to be receiving. Will Medicare pay pay for no. that? No, they won't. No, so um. we work through, um, you know, Medicaid and Medicare and everybody, and right. um, they stopped covering them last year. Um, they said due to the pandemic, they're not covering them anymore, so oh, they don't do it anymore. And that's why we have this fresh promotion and have it at this um, low rate that we have it at with the promotion and all. Right. Because Medicaid and Medicare isn't covering them anymore. Why did I pay taxes for all them years? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, tell me about it, Mr. Torres. Oh. But, you know, thank God, you know, we're still alive and able uh. to be able to talk about it, right? Well, yeah, it's better than the other thing, I guess. Yeah, that is very true. And Mr. Torres, what's your date of birth? 3-16-1950. And do you have any um, health insurance, like Medicaid and Medicare, or just Medicare? Just Medicare. And, um... Are you taking any medications right now? Oh, I got a whole bunch. I got blood uh, how pressure. How many would you say you take oh, a day? there's probably seven. And you say you take one for blood pressure, One, you probably take one for your diabetes. No, I take insulin for that. And then I got uh, okay, okay. cholesterol and uh, uh, I forgot what the rest. I don't know. I got so many, I don't even know what it's for. Okay, okay, that's absolutely fine. At least you know how many you take. Yeah, though, I so know I got to take it. seven in the morning, and then seven, I take them twice a day. Seven in the morning, seven at night. So I count them out. Okay. And I put them in so the you have thing. To take basically. It's, yeah, it's got every day on it, and I open it up and put them in there. So you just have to take 14 pills, 14 pills a day, basically. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, Mr. Torres, I want to thank you so very much for all of this information, okay? okay? All right. And I do have great news oh, for you. Okay. It sounds like this device will be perfect for you. This device will work anywhere in the U.S. You're going to be able to use this on trips okay. around town, outside, well, and inside of your home. 
Ah, your device so will also if I go to church, it'll work in church and everywhere I uh -huh. go. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, so okay. if you go to the grocery store, grocery if you store, go to church, the casino, yep, anywhere you go, mm -hmm. yep, the casino, anywhere you go, you're going to be able to wear this device. And yeah. it's even water resistant, so you can wear it in the shower too, oh, where most falls couldn't happen. I never fell in the shower. Now, um, I suppose I'm well, doing... a lot of people do fall in the shower. Yeah, um, yeah. those old so, people. You know, those that's old the main place. Do. Huh? I said those old people fall there in the shower. Yeah, they do. They surely do. And, uh, Mr. Torres, um, do you have anyone that you want to list as an emergency contact? Yes, Cross-Eyed Mary. Um, what's her name? Cross-Eyed Mary. That is not her name. Yeah, I don't know what her real name is. We just call her Cross-Eyed Mary because her eyes are crossed. Her oh, name's... my goodness, yeah. that is horrible. Yeah, she, she bumps into a lot Lord. of stuff. But she's the only one I can think of to call. She lives two doors okay, down. You know, you know her phone number? 223-205-0706. All right. And you okay. say her name is Mary. You know her last name? Nope. Just Cross-Eyed Mary. She was married to somebody. The guy's name, I forget his name. But he died. I'm not sure. Oh, boy. So if I fall down, you're going to call Cross-Eyed Mary or you're going to call an ambulance? No, we're going to call for help for you, but okay. the only way we'll call your emergency contact is if it's not too bad and you oh, don't want us to okay. call an ambulance. Okay, all right. So we can send Cross-Eyed Mary over to help you out. Oh, okay. All right. That and what is um, your address? It's 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. Okay, and that's South Main Street, right? Yeah, South Main. All right. And I have you verified here at 100 South Main Street in Moravia, New York. Yes. One three one one eight. That's correct. All right, perfect. Now, Mr. Torres, I have everything I need to go ahead and get this process for you, okay? Okay. Now, um, to go ahead and get this squared away for you, we will handle everything electronically um, through your checking account, okay? So you don't have to worry about sending anything or doing anything extra, okay? How's that work? I don't know. You heard me, Mr. Thor? Yeah, I don't know how that works, checking account. What do you mean? Um, so basically, it'll be drafted automatically out of your account. Oh, I don't know. Nobody in my bank account. AARP said never give your banking information out. So I don't. Yes. Okay, yes, I completely understand. You know, you're right. being a little skeptical yes. because I'm the same way, you know, with my information. But the main reason that we build through your check-in, Mr. Torres, is because you are completely protected by the Consumer Fraud Protection Act. Now, if we or anyone, for that matter, build anything to your account without your approval, your bank protects you by not only allowing you to dispute the charge, but they also refund your money. So I definitely want to put your mind at ease by letting you know I got a credit that we card. have over 500. Okay, that's absolutely fine, um, Mr. Torres. Um, but the, um, the checking account is the easiest way, okay? I'll be happy to take that card. But um, with your, your card, you know, sometimes they'll get lost, they get stolen, and they eventually will expire. So this just ensures that your service is never I ever just interrupted don't, I just well, don't okay? like. I just don't like people taking money out of my check and account. Okay, that's absolutely fine. The um, ARP Torres, said you should is, never um, do that. Actually, because, they, you know, what if somebody yeah. else got a hold of my bank information and then they take all my money? No, we won't let no, that No, not you, happen. but somebody else. Somebody else. Here. Somebody else could take it. 
No, they can't get into our system, so they can't take it if they can't, you know, get into our system. Oh, there's hackers all over so, the place. Um, you know, we, yeah, they are. They really are. But the way our security is very, very tight here, um, you won't have to worry you about use, anything like that. I you promise. have Norton. You have Norton. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, sir. We have the best of the best security uh, in good. the whole wide world. I, I, they called me yeah, the other so day. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about yeah. any of that. Okay. They did? Yes. Yes. They told me that my computer had a virus, and they 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 got it on my bank, too. They had to take, because they took money out for something I didn't order, and then they had to put it back in. So I had to get into my banking account and they said once I get notified the money's there I'm supposed to tell a man yes I got the money but I never got the money oh lord they just got it to your account yeah yeah well, I don't some know scammers out here you have there, to be very I, I can't, careful I can't take it and anymore yeah I don't blame you okay. I do not blame you so at you want, all I can give and you my I'm credit Mr. card yes yeah, read me your card number whenever you're ready. Okay, it's a MasterCard. 5448-2640-4251-9224. And the expiration date? 827. All right. Okay. I wanna, so this card right here, uh, Mr. Tori, this card is declining. That's so that what? Card, um, it's declining? declined why mm -hmm. does it tell you why i don't know why it would be i pay my bill um read it to me one more time uh, i may have had something wrong read it to me again okay five four four eight two six four zero four two five one nine two two four um what was the the last eight numbers after twenty six forty four two five one nine two two four Nine, two, two, four. Yes. Should take it. It's the only one All I got. All right. And is this a, uh, what type of card is this? MasterCard. Yes, that's what it is. And the expiration date? Not 827. 827. Yeah, this one isn't, um... It's not um, actually that's, working. Uh, that's the only I'm not one sure. I got. Um, do you have no. Do you have the money in there, or you get paid like on the first or the third? The money in where? I, no, I in know. your account. This is Mastercard. There's money on the card. I pay it every month. If I oh, it's a credit card. Yes. Well, I have it. Um, I have it in here correctly as a Mastercard. And the expiration date is August of 27. Right. Ending at 9224. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's, this is not um, actually uh, working here. Um, um, where, where's your, um, your regular um, bank card? I don't have a regular bank card. Your regular, uh, your debit card to your bank? No. You don't have your um your regular debit card to your checking account? No. Because what? Uh, okay, know, where's what, your card to your bank? I don't have a card. All I got is a credit card. Okay, so wh what do you do when you need to withdraw money from your bank account? I go to the bank and get it. With no card? Well, no, I go up to the teller and I have my uh, withdrawal slip. And then she gives me the money. Okay. So, so I, I don't have, you know, one okay. of them cards because when I go to the casino, everybody's worried I'm going to spend all my money if I got one of them cards. So I don't have one. Okay. Do you know your uh, your account number? Um, I Mr. can't Ford? get that out. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. Oh, you can. Oh. Um... I don't you know. You can um, give it out, Mr. Torres. Now, your no, information they said not is going to be completely AA, I always listen to AARP. They said never. Yeah, but this is legit. They, 
Yeah. No, they say don't give it out yeah, to right. companies that are not legit, Mr. Gore. But I don't even but know we who are. We are 100% are. legit. I don't. I'm Antonio with Life Protect 24/7. Right. That's where I'm where helping you, told you me. um, you know, get yourself a device. I'm gonna have to not uh -huh. get it. I think. And, uh, oh well, I want to thank you and that well, for uh, taking the time to talk to me. Well, I do okay. want you to um, you know, get it, Mr. Torres. And I don't want that to deter you from not getting yourself protected today because accidents do happen in the blink I of an eye. Tell me about and it. we're not always able to handle everything. Right. So you've already had accidents before, and we don't need that happening again, and you don't have protection. Yeah, so but I'm I, telling you, I Mr. Torres, that we have over. Over. Uh huh. But over we what? have over 500,000 active customers. We've been uh, in business for well over 10 years, and we okay. even have an A-plus rating with that Better Business Bureau. Oh. So you don't have to worry about anything happening with your information, okay? I just can't do it. I got I just can't give that out. I'm so sorry. But thanks anyway. I guess well, I'll have can, to think of something um, else. I'll think of something else. Well, you can um, give it out, Mr. Torres. This is not um, something that's not legit. So you don't have to worry about your information being compromised in any way. So you actually can um, give it to me, and nothing is going to happen with your information. We can't do anything with just your account number. Yeah, you, can, you take the money out. <laughs> no, you okay. can't take, just well, take money out just with uh, your account number. Okay, well, I it think doesn't, I'm going to um, have to not way. get it, I think. I'm just going to take my chances. But thanks anyway. I wish well, you no. took a credit card, but no, thanks I anyway. No, I don't want you to. Uh, okay. No, but this card, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Torres, is just the card isn't working. We yeah, do take the card, I don't understand but why. But I think the card doesn't have any money on it. I think the uh, card is empty. Empty? Well, that's Did all you I use got. all the money on it? No, no, I don't even bring that with me to the casino, so I I, I don't know what went wrong with that. Did you recently? I better just leave. Did you recently just make a payment on it, or did you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you use it all at the casino? No, I didn't use it all at the casino. I don't even bring it there. You don't bring it there? No, because I'm afraid okay, I'll take so money Okay, so when did out. you last? I was at the casino. Well, when did you last um, use your um, three days ago? When did you last use your card? I used it with that Norton. When Norton called, Norton, you used... Norton antivirus. Okay, and you said the expiration date is zero eight two seven. Right. Okay, well, I got to go. And the last four of the card is 92. Yeah, it's all the same. They mm -hmm. won't do it. Okay, well, thanks for taking my call anyways. Have a good day, okay? Well, don't hang up. I got to go. Forrest. I'm trying to help you I out. I got to meet my friend and, um, down at the park, out. so I got to go. But thanks anyways, well, ma'am. Just hold your horses. Okay, I'm hold trying to horse. help you, you know, get everything squared away. I'm all set. So, um, you know, don't rush. Just calm down. I, I, I got to go. I'm trying to get this I can't out do it. for you in a way yeah, that we can get work. this out there to you. It's not going to work. Okay. It will Thank work. You. Okay. Um, you just have to just tell okay. me just your account number. No, I can't do that. Okay. Do you know your account number? Yes, I might check. Okay. But I can't give it out. <laughs> okay. Well, well thank you, you very much for your number. time. I you. No, thank you for your time. I got to go Mr. now. Mr. Okay. I'm trying to tell you that bye. we cannot do bye anything bye. with just your account number. Okay. Bye-bye. So you don't have well, to you, worry about it, okay? Well, how are you going to get the money out every month if you can't do anything? Uh, oh. Don't make sense. I will draft that electronically. Right, you could draft electronically so everything. 
That's for AARP. Shot. Yeah, but this is for a legit company. Right. Yeah, this is a legit company, right. though. So okay. That's why well, we drafted okay. electronically. You don't have to worry about anybody taking anything that doesn't belong mm, to them. Right. Okay. Well, I got to meet my friend Aqualung down at the park, so I got to go. But thanks anyway. Thanks for taking my call. Bye-bye. Oh.